In Super Smash Bros. Melee, every character has their own unique Break the Target stage. This stage complements their moveset. Normally, each character would only have access to their own Break the Target stage, but by using mods we're able to have access to all 25 Break the Target stages with every single character. In this episode, we're going to be trying every stage as Ness, to see which ones are possible and which ones aren't. Now we got Ness, and Ness is a very good character because his up B can pretty much snipe out targets, which is very cool. Because when I did this challenge in Smash 64, Ness was definitely one of my favorite characters to play as just because his up B makes it like playing on easy mode almost. Right now, we should just be able to up B to get this last target, and we're good. I honestly wish Lucas was a clone character in this game, just so I could have another episode where I get a up B like this. Alright, now Peach's course, and this one shouldn't be too bad at all. Ness has pretty good movement options here. And even Ness's jump height is actually pretty good also. Ness is just such a great character. Got DK's course. Kind of like how there's a little bit of inspiration from like the original Donkey Kong game with the. Uh, Tilt red beams at the start. Alright, now Ice Climb is everyone's favorite top tier stage here. Oh. Like, Ness has one of the most difficult stages in the game, but every single character has been able to complete it so far, which has kind of surprised me. Because when we skipped Ness's stage there, it was kind of like a sigh of relief, because usually that's the stage that I'm on for like a bit trying to find different strategies that work. I don't know, maybe I'm just getting used to melee because I've been playing it so much this past like week, but I swear Ness feels like he controls just like he does in Smash 64.
He's the one character that seems almost identical. But I'm probably just getting used to Melee's movement a lot more, to be honest. No, it's gonna be so weird going back to Smash 64, though. <laughs> I'm sure I'll play it soon for fun with friends and to be so out of the loop again. Alright, now we can just be up or up B these last targets here. Oh, it honestly just feels like I'm playing the game on like the easy mode right now with Ness. Like, I'm sure this is probably gonna be my, like my shortest recording time right now. <laughs> That's just insane how good that move is. <laughs> it was pretty much made for break the targets. We got Pikachu stage, and this stage, pretty cool aesthetics. With the grass, and almost it's like a children's blocks or something. Children's blocks and the triangles. Got the platforms from Pokemon Stadium and everything. for Ness's on Jigglypuffs, and with Ness's abilities, I'm pretty confident that this one should be doable. One thing though, if we do his B up, it's like, if we can't just go and snipe out the targets, which was honestly my initial plan. Right, let's go for this target first. Back up. Next up, this target. Alright, nice. There's two more. There we go, that's it. So now, just the last one. That's actually pretty difficult to do there. Alright, so now for this last one. That's it. Oh, come on. stage.
Right now for uh, Dr. Mario's stage, and this stage pretty much just becomes a joke. Like his PK fire is just too powerful. Now this is usually a stage that I dread, but definitely not gonna mind it this time. Now young links, and I guess sadly, all good things gotta come to an end. I wonder if he will be able to get some more targets though with his up B. Okay, yeah, nice. Got that target. Nice. At least he doesn't have nine remaining, which is just kind of weird, but... Yeah, that sucks. I have six targets remaining for this course for Ness. And we should be able to get pretty much every target on this platform here, funnily enough. Right, just two more. Right, last one. Nice, didn't even have to move. <laughs> That's absolutely crazy. Right now for the last one, Roy's. Yeah, and that was honestly very insane. That's the fastest time I ever recorded one of these. Obviously, still got to edit and stuff. But yeah, that one was a lot of fun. Ness is pretty top tier character. All right, next episode is going to be the Ice Climbers. And the Ice Climbers is going to be a special episode because uh, normally when you play the Ice Climbers course, for those of you that don't know, you only have one Ice Climber, right? So, they have barely any up B, so I'm gonna try the courses first with the one Ice Climber, and if I can't do it, then I'll try both, so... Next episode is gonna have a totally different, uh, kind of chart on the side and stuff, so... This is gonna be the first kind of special episode. And Zelda is gonna get a special episode too, so... Thank you guys so much for checking out this video, I just got merch if you're interested in that. And if you could leave a like, or maybe even subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it, and I hope that you guys all have a great day.